This is Witchbase News for Friday the 17th of September 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...we have a useful guide for new and old players alike Salvation warns the Thargoids attack and starports are ablaze as the Azimuth story is updated and we get a peek at what's in development together with a roundup of news from Frontier. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. We stumbled across a really nice visual guide for new players to Elite Dangerous this week that was originally posted in 2017 but it's so information dense some of which we didn't even know ourselves that we thought it worth highlighting here. Compiled by Commander John Potts the guide is actually an aggregate of a number of diagrams and visual guides from several different commanders that all nicely coalesce into one fantastic reference. Covering subjects as diverse as the cockpit layout, the FSS scanner and the SRV wave scanner through to compass points and planetary navigation, how to get your SRV out of a deep hole, how to call the fuel rats, the crime and punishment system, galactic regions, different flavours of star, map and cockpit icons and much much more. It's an absolutely essential guide for the new player and a fantastic reference for everyone else. Suffice to say it's linked in the description below. The Azimuth Saga plotline that is currently playing out in the game crept forward again this week following warnings from the might be a friend might not shadowy character known as Salvation. Last week the self appointed and largely unproven Salvation issued dire warnings that the Thargoids were about to attack in the Kornsar system just over 100 light years from Sol. All this despite no significant Thargoid presence anywhere in the region and absolutely no warnings from the Aegis Eagle Eye early warning system. Thargs day morning rolled around and when the servers returned sure enough two starports in the Kornsar system are ablaze the apparent victims of a Thargoid attack. What was lacking in the affected system was any other signs of Thargoid activity. No AX conflict zones are present in Kornsar or any systems nearby. In a post to the AXI Discord community manager Zach confirmed that the lack of AXCZs is indeed by design for law reasons as is a general downturn in the number of available NHSSs. The only further elaboration Zach has given is that quote maybe all the Thargoids haven't reached the system yet as it's quite far into human space unquote. It's certainly odd that the furious caustic cabbages aren't visible in the general area following an attack. The generally established pattern being attack place, set it on fire, sit back and marvel at your handiwork while the player base attempts to destroy enough of your gathered brethren in order to warrant the attack being deemed to be over. The fires are then extinguished and the process of rebuilding the stations can kick in. We've seen stations set ablaze with visible caustic damage before with no Thargoids being present. In those instances it's the NMLA terrorist organisation that has been responsible so it's certainly not outside the realms of possibility. Historically speaking it definitely wouldn't be the first time that a figure angling for power to be handed to them by the will of the people created a bogeyman for the masses to be afraid of and then promised that they and only they could offer salvation from that threat. See what I did there? So we're left with the same question still. Salvation? Friend or foe? Right now we still have no solid answer on that. Earlier this week community manager Bruce updated the story so far thread on the forums a useful resource if you're looking to gen up on what's happened over the last year since the Adamaster megaship arrived back in the bubble. The one year anniversary of that event is impending by the way. Frontier also choosing now to remind us of everything that has happened up till now to bring us to this point. Just saying in case you want to reinforce the integrity of your tinfoil lined beanie. 
If you've never participated in the burning stations thing you probably have until Thursday at least. We created a simple guide to this before which is linked on screen now. It's cheap and easy to get involved and is just overall really well done. You'll find the Galnet newsfeed in your ships cockpit on the right hand panel. Probably worth keeping an eye on particularly at the moment. Frontier is running a new event at the moment during which you can earn a pulse blue SRV paint job just for submitting a qualifying video. So just to be clear you don't need to win you just need to participate with a video worthy of being looked at by the community team judges. The specifics for a qualifying entry are linked below but in essence you'll need to submit a 10 to 30 second YouTube video of you performing a stunt of your choosing in game. In ship, fighter, SRV or on foot it doesn't matter and your video could end up being featured on an upcoming livestream. Elsewhere from Frontier this week the anticipated patch 7 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey that we reported on last week was delayed by a week to allow some further fixes for a particularly troublesome bug to make it into the patch so look out for that in the next week. Alongside the usual raft of fixes and updates patch 7 will also see a revamp of the surface conflict zones introducing aerial combat with NPC ships and some all new significantly beefed up surface to air defences. Following on from some comments made a week or so ago Arthur revealed a work in progress image of the new megaship concourses that are being introduced sometime after patch 7. It's difficult to pull too many specific details from the image but it does appear that the concourses will afford views of the huge ships exterior. It's unknown currently what specifically the concourses will bring to the game but the team have previously mentioned them featuring facilities such as Vista Genomics. As always when we know more about that we'll let you know here on this very channel. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Are you going to be performing a stunt to earn yourself a pulse blue SRV skin? Do you think Salvation is inventing bogeymen so that we can be saved from them whilst also unwittingly handing over the keys to our liberty? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.